So uh, this is Castlevania 2 on the Famicom Disk System, uh, which was uh, an accessory for the Famicom, which used uh, floppy disks. Uh, I'm running this on my EverDrive, but uh, that is how it was released. And unlike the US version, this doesn't have password. Passwords, it has actual save files. Uh, so it also has loading screens and a lot of them. And this is a pretty short run if everything goes correctly. Um, and timing starts when you see the character. So I'm gonna do a countdown from five. So that will be after the loading screens. But I'll let you know. All right, so five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, so this is a glitched run of Castlevania 2, a Japanese version, and things are gonna get pretty crazy. And I don't know how much I'm gonna have time to explain. It, w it depends on how well things go here. Uh, so right there, I'm buying the holy water. Uh, which will be needed to kill Dracula later. And that is a floor drop, which is a frame perfect trick, and it also depends on sub pixels. Uh, and by touching stairs, that resets the value, and you do a specific, uh, specific amount of jumps to set that up. And then you do a frame perfect whip as you walk over the edge and then you clip through the floor. So I'm intentionally taking damage here because I will have a death layer, intentional death uh, in order to set up the glitch. So we're gonna head over to the next town and hopefully get a first try. Uh, no promises. Let me equip the holy water. So everything here in the beginning uh, deals two damage uh, except for the uh, the uh, bird in the town, that's another floor drop. Uh, except for the bird in town, that's only there during the night. So we're gonna wait for night time uh, in order to set up this glitch. And here's more loading times. So much fun. So yeah, we're gonna wait right here for night time so that we can get our health down to 1 HP. And then we're gonna try to do a frame perfect glitch, a frame perfect damage boost. You need to transition the screen and die on the same frame. So let's see if we get it. Nice, first try, awesome. Now there is a, okay, so we got the glitch here, the game is gonna freak out because uh, the way this game works is it, uh, when, when you die, it's gonna put you back where you last stood on solid ground. And because we died in the air, and there was a loading screen in between, that's a crash, that's bad. We're gonna have to start over. Uh, yeah, that can happen, that, that, that is why. I put estimates so high. But we're gonna have to do this over again. But that gives me some time to try to explain this glitch. Uh, you saw me end up in like a really glitched up town that's all white. Um, so yeah, the the way this game works is um, w when you die, it puts you back uh, on the last tile where you stood on solid ground. And because we, we died, but we also transitioned uh, the screen and the game loaded new um, map data because there's a loading uh, zone there. So when it tries to put you back on the other side of the loading screen, then yeah, it doesn't really know where to put you. Like it probably puts you on the what the game thinks is the correct place, but uh, since there was a loading screen in between, 
you know, that place doesn't exist, so we go somewhere else. Now, like I said, the game crashed, and that can happen after you get the glitch. And it's seemingly random, don't really know what causes it, but it happens sometimes. Hopefully it won't happen like four times in a row. <laughs> So yeah, same deal. We're just gonna take damage on our, on our way there. And uh, hope that the game doesn't crash. Okay, we're... Good with the health, perfectly set up. Touch the stairs for good luck. Alright, so we'll have to do the glitch again, hopefully get a first try once more, and then hopefully the game doesn't crash. Now the, the unfortunate thing is that there is a, a loading screen here, and if we miss the trick, then the punishment is that we're gonna have to see the loading screen two more times before we can try again, so we're gonna lose like 25 seconds each time you miss it, that's where we wanna get it the first try. Uh, almost went a little earlier so uh, more loading screens <laughs> too early again Come on, fair, fair try. Well, technically fourth, but fair try on, on this since the reset. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty tricky to time this right. And like I said, it's frame perfect. You need to jump into the transition and take damage on the same frame to get the glitch to work. You'll know if you get the glitch, if you hear Simon go, Ooh. Nope. Damn it. Ah, come on. This is what I was afraid was gonna happen. I get it first try and then the game crashes and then I can't get it. <laughs> but yeah, it happens sometimes. I'll get it eventually. Just hopefully it doesn't crash again. There we go, okay. Now we got it.
Okay, okay, it didn't crash. Okay, we're good, we're good. All right, so you have to do a floor up uh, out of that wall. Um, you have to jump up a specific amount of tiles so that you can floor up there. Then the game doesn't crash, and then you are pretty much good. Uh, now we're gonna get uh, some pretty glitched out areas here. So we are now out of bounds. Um, and uh, yeah, th this looks kind of fun. Also, uh, Simon Sprite is a little bit glitched up. You see like red lines going through him. Um, so that's fun. So now, now we're gonna just go like two screens over here and uh, and uh, then we are gonna get to the end of the game. So we're gonna fall down here. So actually there's a... Uh... Oh, okay. I expected there to be a wall there. Well that... That's weird. <laughs> you, should ha you have to despawn the wall. I was gonna show you, show you the wall. That's normally there. <laughs> Oh well. So yeah, now Simon Belmont is inside Dracula's castle. And normally you would have to go through five mansions uh, before you can get here. And get the items in every mansion and get a better whip. Uh, so Dracula is one of two enemies with uh, the most amount of HP in the game. They have 240 health. Um, our whip will do one damage to him and the holy water will also do one damage to him so and he will insta kill us with everything. <laughs> we can't take a single point of damage so the only way for us to beat him is uh, to use a glitch. So there's a funny glitch with the holy water. Um, Instead of doing 1 damage to Dracula, it can do 185 damage to him if you throw it at a frame perfect moment. And so we need to get a frame perfect holy water throw twice to kill him. So it's a double frame perfect trick essentially to kill him. So he'll, uh, Dracula will probably kill me here. Yep. <laughs> so we gotta try again. But that, that's fine, because now we're here, so we get to start here. Uh, so no, no matter what, we should be able to finish the game before, uh, before the estimate, which is 20 minutes. And I'll, I will try to do... I was trying to do a quadruple floor up there, but uh, that's kind of hard. Especially in this version, because this version compared to the US version doesn't have lag in this place, so it's a lot harder to get that. But yeah, it's essentially, you can float up four times in a row, and you will skip all the way to the bottom, right? Uh, you'll drop down about here, or here, uh, right from the top of the mansion. So you don't have to go around. There we go. It's like, uh, yeah, it's a little late, but um, that should be like 13.10 or 13.05 or something like that. So uh, that's, uh, that's Simon's Quest on uh, the Famicom Disk System. Uh, that's uh, some heavy glitching. <laughs> and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But uh, it's, it's a fun speedrun. It's a very short speedrun. So the funny story is that, uh, like, I, I know this was not like at, by any means a perfect run and a lot of things went wrong the game crashed but the funny story is this is the most 
marathon safe run of Castlevania 2 that you can ever do. Uh, so <laughs> this is the only category of this game that does not uh, that does not rely on heavy RNG. In the US version, you can lose like nine minutes to RNG. <laughs> so in the, in this one, you don't have to grind. You ha don't have to buy anything. You don't have to pick up a single heart. Just do the glitch and kill Dracula and away you go. 